Coach Neil here, and I got my buddy Sean helping me out today. We're at the Hayabusa Training Academy, and I'm going to show something a little strange. I actually learned it from my friend Sean Spangler. He was he was really really good at it, and it's a modified twister. So all you 10th Planet guys, uh, hopefully this satisfies you. I know you guys, uh, that's your thing. But it's uh, it's going to be done with a body lock instead of like uh, hooking the leg. It's not it's it's not as powerful as a traditional twister. But it kind of it correlates to MMA really nice, and um, you can still I mean great for grappling as well. But you might have problem with this if you're a smaller, long, like shorter leg guy, and your opponent is you got a little bigger guy. So if you're in a gym, you're a small guy, you want the big guy, you might have some problem. But if you're in, should be with your own weight class, it shouldn't be a problem at all. So it works, and it works awesome for MMA. And the, most of the setup I use for it is MMA, but. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys could modify it and make it a lot better than I teaching it. So, all right, so I'm gonna start off having Sean's back. I'll just face the camera. Now, normally when you have the back, you know, my wisdom when you have the back is first thing first, you know, line up your head. Like if a guy's head is under mine, I'm not gonna choke him. I keep my shoulders lined up. The other thing is protect your choking hand. If I'm looking for his back, I, I know like guys like to do this. I actually like the old school, like, gable lock because I can wrench it up and I can push and I can feel his shoulders. If I feel shoulder to shoulder, I feel like I have him. But instead today, instead of looking for the choke, I'm going to go double unders. And the reason why I'm doing that is it's going to give me access to my own legs and my hips. So I go here and I'm going to bring it up. You see how I'm kind of flaring? It's because I want to be almost like I'm riding if he's like, like in a turtle position. I want to put my hands in his throat and my elbows up and just kind of sink. Now what I want to do is, I, my, right now my, my, my hips are kind of lined up with his. I want to get my hips like off to the side. So basically, like your, your, your groin is lined up with the side of his hip. The more you can lock that up, the better. But the reason why I do double unders is because once you, once you have your knees torqued a few times, you're, you don't want to take a lot of chances. I like being here so he can't mess with my legs and I can actually grab my own legs. So when I'm here, I'm nice and high, and I'm gonna start moving. What I'm gonna do is my leg is gonna go deep and it's gonna curl and I'm gonna push. And when I curl here, it allows my hips to kinda, almost like hip escape. And now from when I hand to position, I'm actually gonna grab my own leg and I'm gonna secure it in figure four. And when I figure four, I'm gonna keep my leg curled like this. I'm not gonna extend right away. I'm gonna hide my foot. I'm gonna keep it down, okay? so. I have Sean's back. Normally we'd be laying back, but it looks better for film this way. So I'm nice and tight. I'm here, I'm working his back. And what I'm gonna do is from this position, now I'm gonna start working my legs. So I'm here, I'm gonna curl, and I'm gonna push. Now from this, I'm gonna grab, and I'm gonna lock, and I'm gonna curl my leg down. So the more off to the side I get, the better. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pushing him away. I want to push him away here. So in MMA, I would push him and I'm going to hit. Now, I'm giving him the direction out. So I'm kind of hide my foot. I don't want to extend it. I want to hide it. So now what I'm waiting for him is starting to turn towards me. As soon as he does that, does that I'm lacing. Okay, he's lacing. So now I, my, I'm laced, I'm locked. I have some tension, I have his hips, I feel pretty strong here. I mean, may I just keep hitting him and hitting him and hitting him. And it, he's going to feel like I can, I can spin and get into guard. And that's what I want him to think. So when he's doing this, I don't have to physically force his arm around. He'll just start to naturally do it and I'll come here and put it behind me. Now, it's similar to a twister, but like I said, it's not going to be as powerful, but it's still very strong. Now, from this arm, once I get it behind, I'm going to crowd him. I'm going to lock my figure four nice and tight on his head. And now I'm going to hug his head and now watch my hips. My hips are going to come in. And he's, there it is. But this kind of marries us together. It really does. You okay? Yep. So it's a strong position. And sometimes when you're here, if you're like, oh, I'm trying to crank, his stand's going to be messing with you. Sometimes you can start attacking this arm, putting it to the side, attacking it. And it also gives you a way up. If you're like, ah, screw this. Now I have my mount. Okay, so it's just kind of like a little misdirection. Spangler was 
sick at this. He was so tight. He made like, you make your, your hips feel like they're gonna pop. Okay, so one more time. If you got long legs, you can take shortcuts. So like if I had his back, I'm here, I'll cross my feet and they'll, they'll step over that ankle and think they got you. But as long as my, if my ankles are crossed at the ankle, it will work. All I have to do is extend my leg. It's not as tight because I'm not off on the side, but now we're married. Our hips are married. My hands, I can start moving around and it's, it's still gonna be pretty good. Technically, you wanna be a little shorter. You wanna start hipping out, curling, lock. Now push, there it is. I'll wait for him to move, lace, sit up, and move. For you guys that are long, like myself and Sean, like it's gonna be cake, it's not hard at all. I use this all the time, especially if I get a guy's back and my grips are done, like I'm tired, my hands are burnt, I'll get that lock, it allows my hands to recover, it allows my arms to recover, it's just pretty simple, okay? So it's like I said, it's not as strong as a twister, but it's still very powerful. Like do you think it's strong? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it doesn't feel good. So when you're there, curl, hip escape. If you have to grab it and lock, lock. Don't extend this right away, because he's gonna see the root. Hide it, push him, make him wanna do it on his own. When he starts to spin, lace it. Move the arm, figure four, and then hips in, okay? Real simple move, you're gonna like it. I promise you're gonna like it, unless you're really short and you got no legs, then you might not like it so much. Okay? So it's just a quick little twister. All right, thanks, Sean. Look forward to the next Hayabusa video, guys. Give it a try. Subscribe to Hayabusa's channel right now and check out all my Grand Marshal videos, the ones that you don't tune in for. And if you don't subscribe, your training partners are gonna learn it and they're gonna tap you out with it and you're gonna feel like a fool. Do it now, watch them all, have a blast. I'll see you on the next video.